Yo, what's up? It's uh, me, MC Waifu, from the Goofy R Productions channel and the label. Um, today, instead of uh, usual music dropping, I'm instead uh, going to be interviewing the one and only Harry Horsepool has Boss Gaming, or what do you want to be known as? Harry H. Harry H. Um, so, instead of kind of talking about your newer kind of endeavours, for example, like switching the football content, we're going to kind of go into a little bit more of your personal life. Yeah. Um, what would you say, what is, well, to start off, what is life like for Hasbos? Right, well, I'm going to start, I'm going to start from the very, very, very beginning. I'm going to, I'm going to just talk about everything today because like, I want to let people know what I went through before everything before YouTube all that kind of stuff so I um right so I'll kick it off so basically I started YouTube when I was seven or eight I think um and before that like I don't know I used to obviously watch YouTube a lot the people I used to watch was like Stampy um like all Minecraft content I also used to watch my brother as well which was um which was very like he used to just do like Newcastle content, which I'm up to at the present hour of the day. Um, so yeah, um, I started YouTube in 2017. So hold on, about that, about that, seven or eight? Hold on, fifteen. <laughs> Twenty-two, <laughs> twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty-nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. So that was six, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. I was nine, sorry, not seven. Nine years old, I was. Um, nine I started on YouTube in 2017 on it was around this time around July and obviously I was, I was coming back from Gateshead on the Metro and I was begging me begging me brother saying I want I want to do something what is going to please everyone what's going to like do some entertainment kind of stuff um, and that's when he went we'll sort your channel see how it goes um, and I went well what's my name going to be and he went well you, we've already got a nickname which is Hasboz and he's like Hasboz Game and I was like clicked into us and I was like spot on so he he done all the challenge uh, channel for his banner profile all that um, and I've recorded my very first ever YouTube video in his bedroom on his PlayStation 4 which was Minecraft Bedrock which was amazing um, and then obviously straight after I found out vlogging was a thing which was on the phone situation I think I actually vlogged on my iPad before my phone um and then yeah it was it was like dancing dramas and all that which was a uh, quite fun so yeah it's, it's it's been a bit of adventure since i was nine years old to 15 now and i've been doing youtube now for 10 11 12 13, 16 no not 16 years what six seven years now something like that but yeah i've been doing youtube for ages now and obviously from hasbro's gaming i've done changed the name to hasbro's vlogs and made multiple channels um to obviously now where I'm doing Newcastle channel and uh, New Newcastle channel, Newcastle United content which I'm now obviously known as Harry H which um I like the name a lot obviously it stands up to my actual name. So yeah it's, it's YouTube has come a far way for a, a long time in the making for us when I was nine but now me I don't even think my brother thought I would ever make it because he had five hundred subscribers at the time. And he was like, you'll never get as big as me. And I was like, well, I probably won't. But at the same time, well, I kind of have. I would say I, I'm proud of myself for what I'm doing. And obviously, like, if I was to make a video now, if it's not... I've already mentioned this on a video before, but if I do a video now and it's not good enough, I scrap it. Like, it won't come out. And if it, if it really needs to go out, then I'll make a brand new one and make sure it's absolutely perfect before it comes out just amazing really thumbnails everything takes a lot of time and effort and um i just obviously appreciate all the support i'm getting lately i, I really do mm. um coming back to your brother does your brother still help uh, with you too um he's not really asked like i'll tell him like what's happening i'm talking about newcastle and all that because obviously my brother's been a newcastle fan since like day one he's, he absolutely adores the team like i do um and yeah obviously I, I started youtube all together with newcastle the start of this year i think it was just because obviously it's my new inspiration i love watching the team play and obviously i don't know it's just like the thing a lot of people what people like at the moment a lot of people like newcastle united so 
why not do videos on it? That's great. That's cool, man. Um, what is what? Is there been like a person like besides your brother? Has there been a person that was like that ever made you think like this is the reason why I want to do YouTube? This is the reason why I want to get big off this. You know what I mean? Daisy Fairs. Daisy Fairs is the just how do I am I how do I even explain this, man? I'm actually sorry if I'm getting a bit emotional here, but it's just like... It's crazy. I'm, I'm starting to get upset. I'm getting to get emotional too, man, don't I? It needs to be said, though. I absolutely love the bitch. She's literally the bestest friend I could ever have. Apart from you, because you're class by you, but like... I've knew how long now, 11, I think about 11, 11, 12 years now, maybe it's 10, at the smallest number, but... Oh, she's just amazing. Every, every part is just amazing about her. She's so supportive she helps us with every single thing about youtube she com compliments us if like things are good or bad and she the main thing i love about her the most is she's honest about me videos like she'll actually she'll, she'll like she'll tell us if it's shit which is amazing yeah that's, cool, that, that's the kind of person i want i don't want a people please out who's gonna go yeah it's brilliant and then go out and get to the piss out for it and i'm not trying to say daisy knows absolutely everything because 100 percent she doesn't but if it wasn't for her i'd do you not know where I would be to this do, 100%. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Um, you know, Fezzy's kind of has played a big part in it. Um, where does Reese Allen come into the picture? Because he was... He's the same. He's exactly the same. I absolutely love him a bit. And he's one of the main people as well who I would say, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't... I, I, well, I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't... Not that I wouldn't be here, but I don't know where I would be. Because, like... He's just the co one of the people who keeps me content up. He always like he's another person who's honest with us about me content. Way more honest than Daisy, to be honest with you. Like he's full on open. He's 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 not like yeah, it's brilliant. It's just like the other day I, I sent him something. And he was like, oh shit, it. I'll give you tips how to make it better. And I'm now obviously getting like believe it or not, I'm getting people who are asking us to edit their videos. I've actually got a video to edit the night uh, of someone else's, but I've asked if I'm allowed to credit myself, and they've said yeah. So someone I'm gonna um. I'm gonna do the night. That's a good one. Is there anyone else, kind of in particular, or? Um, I don't know. Like you, mainly as well. Like I feel when you go to the music side of it. Obviously, I'm not gonna lie about you. Me inspiration at the end of the day, you've you've carried us this way to me music situation, and now, well, that's it. I'm gonna talk about because I'm not allowed to mention anything else yet. All right. Um. Has there ever been a point uh, when doing YouTube that it's kind of came to an ultimate stop? Like, has there ever been a point where it's like you can't, you can't feel like you can't do YouTube anymore? Um, last year, maybe mostly like fam. Uh, it was family where my uncle was in a bad place, um, and I was thinking like. This is obviously not the time to be doing YouTube um, or Twitch or anything like that. It's just not the right time. Um, and if I if I remember correctly, I think I took I took like a one or two month break from it. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's perfect. He's brilliant now. He's he's all fit and healthy. But it was a bad time. Not last year. Sorry, two year ago. Two year ago. Two three year ago was was a bad time. So it's um. But you came back. I came back. You came back from uh, the whole thing. Is there anyone now, uh, kind of? What, is there anyone now that's currently kind of making content that, like, besides me, of course, that's kind of your driving point? Like, is there kind of any, even if it was any of your other friends? I don't think there is anyone, unless you count like Jack for TikTok. Then that's it, really. Yeah. Um. All right. Now tell me. What's the impact that Jack Franklin had on you? Was it was the um, could you do you think that he had um do you think that that impact kind of helped you especially in the podcast way yes, of things? Hundred percent. Um, he's he's another person I want to thank. Really, I honestly thank you, Jack, so much for everything you've done. Yes, it's been a bit of hatred and that like there's been shit war everything between us. 
Um, and I think Jack obviously knows him all. We all love him. I love him a bit. He's he, he's one of the people who he's got hashtag Hasbos on TikTok, um, and I think that's got like a few thousand views on that yeah. hashtag. Which he's told me before. Huh? He's told me before, you know. Yeah, yeah. So he told me he actually yeah, there's an MC Y through TikTok account if you look hard enough. Really? Yeah, I don't use TikTok, but he. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I've seen. But yeah, he's. I don't know, it's just amazing what he's done. Hatred or nice, either way, he's, he's, he's absolutely amazing. Um, what would you say, um, as to kind of anything happens kind of in your life, besides, of course, your uncle, that's made you kind of put a stop anywhere else, kind um, of making content? I don't think there is. I actually don't. I'm trying to think here. I, I don't know for definite if there is or not. I don't. I don't think there is. Uh, and I know this might be a bit of a emotional question, and it's fine if you don't want to talk about it per se. But could you tell me the impact of Jane Armstrong? Oh, hey God. Um. Yeah. So, oh, when was it? I think it was like two years ago now. Um, I nearly lost my best mate. Really, obviously, like he was there for us for everything. Year seven, eight, and nine. Um, and year nine, he fell through. I think I don't know how many foot it was, but very, very high fat we roof. Um, and he just caught himself. I was honestly, I was the, that was a horrible day. I, I was devastated going home. I never told anyone about it. Um, and obviously, look, he, he's still here to this day. But if it wasn't for him catching himself, obviously, I wouldn't have him like by myself. Yeah, by myself. Um, have you had? Is there anyone in this like in? In your kind of your life that you would want to collaborate with? What, like anyone? Yeah, kind of just like anyone, like ever. Um, and it doesn't even need, it, it doesn't need to be from school. It can just be from like anyone ever. Obviously, MC Car from Jao. I would love to do a little song slash like collab with him. He's just amazing. I actually met him the day, um, the time I'm recording this. So it was obviously an amazing experience. I got a picture with him. Well, he got a picture of me even. Uh, he's put it on his story and that on Instagram. So, yeah. I think he would be one of the main people I want to. Remember, what could you tell me the impact of... Uh, I'm talking in third person here. Can you tell me the impact of uh, Twitch and BitRoll7? Um, what do you mean about that, League? Could you... Because you obviously did... Uh, you did Twitch gaming. Uh, you did it very heavily between like twenty twenty two and twenty twenty one, and of course he was kind of the one that um, was kind of mostly there for mo with a, a couple of the streams. Uh, could you, you want to describe the impact of kind of him and kind of that side of Twitch? Because you obviously uh, got quite well known from that. Yeah, you, you should I say you or should I say he? Just say he. He helped us a lot, like a lot with everything. Um, obviously, still to this day he does, but then he used to make us laugh a lot. Um, he used to keep me days up quite a lot on stream. Same with school, obviously, like he used to always be there for us for school. He still is. Um, and he's obviously one of the main people I would go to if I need help with anything, like digital kind of stuff, like technology. Hmm. Um, tell me about Robert Hall. Me and, me and Rob, I've got a big kind of, like, big, like, I wouldn't say friendship, but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say relationship, it's like a, f me, hmm? Do you want to say relationship? I would say relationship, yeah, yeah. much more easy for kind of for you. With, with me and Rob, I, I, I count Robert Hall, I count him as family, basically, like, I don't see him as much to practically call him me family, but I feel like somewhere down the road he is, Therefore, obviously, like he's, he keeps 
keeps me happy as well. He's um, such a lovely, lovely kid. So, well, he's not a kid anymore. A person in general. He's just a lo lovely person. He's got men, men personality. And um, he's just dead, can he? He's absolutely lush. Um, has there been anyone that, like, I don't want to say, like, lost as in, like, they've died, but in, like, someone, like, now, whereas, you know, at one point they were really kind of a big part and how you kind of did content, but now they're kind of not kind of there anymore? Um, like, obviously I still speak to Reese, I still speak to Daisy, them don't, like, Daisy still obviously used to, like, still does the podcast with us and that, but Reese on the other hand, he's kind of left that kind of side of his life where he does YouTube, he does Twitch streaming and all that. Um, he's a big miss, he is, uh, I don't know about my channel and that, but to me he's a big miss for my channel, I feel like I do miss him doing the videos with us, the live streams with us, all that kind of stuff, because he, he's got, he's got men crack, he's honestly, he's, he's humor is amazing. Hmm. Uh, what else? What what? Do you want to? I'm I'm fuddling for questions. Do you want to tell me about? Kind of is there anything about MC Bozza or Hasbaz um, that we don't know about that you feel like kind of should be said? Is there anything that kind of isn't like what is obscure about? Has buzz that kind of does it need to be? Um, what do you mean, like YouTube and that? Just I mean, kind of just overall. What overall. is something about has buzz that we don't know but need to know about? Um, well, there's basically just the videos, like heavy huge videos, live streams, all that. The time I put in to edit them, to make time for them, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh. Like obviously, I don't think people. Yes, <laughs> I don't think I don't think many people realize how much stuff I actually put in here. Cause I feel like people will think that I'm doing, like, I don't know. I feel like people are just like, oh, he makes a video. It's not hard. Put a title in, get a picture off Google, put that as a thumbnail and upload it. When it's not like that at all. It's com It's no nothing like that. Ah. Uh, work me ass off to get stuff done and it's it's mad because obviously you want to do like i want to do other stuff as well as just youtube and streaming mm. but i find the time to put in for everything so obviously i've got school what i need to like put work into because i've obviously got my gcse's coming up next year um i've got a placement kind of job which i'm doing which i need to work me ass off for um obviously I need to need time to spend time with my family. Um which is hard to do when I've got me streaming and me YouTube as well. <laughs> um and then obviously YouTube and streaming as well. It's hard to do both at the same time when um you you need to do both. And obviously me main goal is to obviously try and get the my like my YouTube content out before every other U yeah, Newcastle YouTuber. Which at the moment of time it is hard to do. Um it yeah, it is really hard to get that out because of how long your videos are, they're like nine, ten minutes videos if they're a big video. Um so yeah, it it is it is quite hard, but that's one minute one of the main things that I feel people do need to realise, like I feel like I should deserve and earn more viewers on like for example live streams because the time I put in I try to have a laugh with the the stream like the that a few hours um and yeah like that's it I you ever struggle with this <sighs> well I don't obviously have a, like I used to have a schedule for streaming it used to be every day of the week um which was obviously really hard. To do every day when there's not really much to like the stream um the reason i feel like everyone's left is because i stream the same game every day which is most likely fortnite um and that was came out the year i started youtube as well which i really 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 wish i started streaming fortnite when i first came out because i feel like i'll be a lot bigger compared to where i am now um but yeah, it it, it is hard. It, I do struggle now and again to 
to do both at the same time. Mm. Um, is there anything else? Kind of. I don't know. Obviously, I got me Planet Cloudy collection, which just came out. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously the Planet Cloudy collection, like just collections in general for the merches, it takes that takes time and effort and to use me head a lot to think like what am I doing next, what am I doing next, blah blah. Like I need to have things in my head what I'm thinking about what I'm putting them on, like on the hoodies, the t-shirts, the backpacks, socks, all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's hard. Obviously, the next collection has already been made. It's ready and it is scheduled for whenever I release it. And there obviously will be a countdown on the website when the next collection does come out, which will be either the middle of August or the start of September. Um, and I'm not obviously I'm not going to leak anything or tell anyone about it what the new collection is but all all you get from me is that it, it is a mint collection what I'm doing uh, hold on why should people care about Hasbos why should they care as I've said before the time and effort I put in for videos for other stuff people need to like realize how hard it is like i've got a pair of balls right to go out there and do this i get loads of people now and again like for example black eye what he said to me today how you how the hell you have confidence to do this kind of stuff in front of a camera in front of public everything like how do you do it i mean i can't see everyone in the world going out and just thinking oh um I'll I'll just hold me like hold better hold me phone hold me phone like that, and do a video like it it's hard, it is hard. I struggle obviously like I know a lot of people do, but I struggle really bad with obviously anxiety. I got diagnosed for I don't know what it was. I got diagnosed for anxiety ticks or something where I don't know if people are realizing that in school or that, but that was a hard time out. The diagnosis took about three years to come out. I got diagnosed, um, tested for autism, ADHD, um, everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously came back with anxiety tics where I'll like not wink, but it's like a twitch in my eye, which does that. Obviously, I make like m- like grunt noises in my throat and my nose, which is strange and I don't like it. Um, I always clench my fists and that so. That was hard going through that, but eventually they came out um, and said anxiety ticks. So I'm happy about that. Um, you wanna call it there? That's I. That, I think that's everything. So yeah. yeah. Um, this has been your boy uh, MC Waifu Emo Girl Slow Jams coming out soon. Um, I do appreciate. You have just been hasbossed. Yeah, I just want to appreciate everyone for all the support once again. I absolutely love you, Lord. So make sure you get down there, hit the subscribe button. We've got a Bulgaria vlog coming out this Friday, which is amazing. So I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Um, and yes, make sure you get down there. Planet Cloudy in the description right now. Get yourself some merch, boys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Take care. Stay safe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.